and based on the current price right now of 1.74 uh, the yield is six percent yes um, you know, next question will be saying that yeah but there are some other business risks like the interest um, yes so question would be do you have alternatives to invest in This video is gonna be about an update of CICT. Um, 21st October, it released its results. So I wanted to take this time to update my template about uh, CICT. Uh, first thing, uh, what you can see absolutely right on this screen is uh, the I'm concerned about the brand reversions. Uh, this is one thing that I learned from a uh, fellow fellow community members thus uh, I'm observing this reversions right now um, so for the latest third quarter okay I'm gonna use this pen so we see these numbers so what can you see um, for the office right the RAM reversions are still in the positive but the number is decreasing Right, as seen by the decrease from 9.3, 8.5, 7.9 so this means that uh, the incoming rates and the outgoing rates the difference so you can see that the gap is becoming smaller uh, whereas uh, for the retail you can see that uh, now it is in the positive region so the incoming versus the outgoing rents are higher right now with this in mind how does it allow me to determine whether should I buy at the current rate so uh, what you can see is that uh, I've inserted this portion into the framework because I wanted to understand hey uh, based on the current price of uh, 1.74 down here right what's going to be the yield Actually, um, my assumption is because uh, I have these reversions uh, in my mind. So I'm making an assumption that, hey, if all these reversions were to continue as it is, right, is it possible, would the third quarter results be the baseline? Baseline meaning that the results should not go below this, right, unless... Uh, there is some incidents that happen to the REIT portfolio but now, now I'm making a, a, a bold assumption that this the quarter results will be my baseline thus uh, I just duplicated it for fourth quarter down here right and with the addition of uh, the third quarter and the fourth quarter that's where I get my second half here and I will compare it with my first half so uh, behind each assumption that I've shared uh, or perhaps each point I've shared there's an assumption behind so what I can see is that uh, if you look at the first group which is the comparison between the first half and the second half for retail uh, the increments aren't that significant but what is happening is the office and the integrated uh, development uh, that would that has the biggest increase since second half would be is performing is may perform better than the first half right so I'm also baselining my distribution per unit so uh, for the first half you was able to give 5.22 cents so for the entire financial year I'm making an assumption that it's going to give uh, 10.44 and based on the current price right now of 1.74 uh, the yield is six percent yes um, your know, next question will be saying that yeah but there are some other business risks like the interest um, yes so question would be do you have alternatives to invest in uh, because uh, for us in, uh, investing we always remember rule number one never lose money uh, rule number two always remember rule number one so I wanted to go through this and document this thought process now so that uh, 
you who's watching uh, can benefit from my thought process so stay tuned to the next video and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe my channel